funnels are all around us. Like everything is a sales funnel. And if you don't believe me, let's just say, let's say you had an offline, totally offline business and you got customers by going to local meetups and like chamber of commerce meetings. Let's say you met 10 people and you got 10 business cards. So you, there were hundred people there, you met 10. So already we've got hundred and then down to 10. And then you set up calls with three of them and two of the three showed up to the call and one of the two bought your product, right? That's, that's a funnel. leveled up one of our major funnels and it rapidly increased the conversion rate. He thinks he puts his heart into what he does to be able to deliver. You know, you and Macy, both super sharp, man. And that's one of the biggest pleasures of working together. You're, you guys are like diamonds, <laughs> you know, very hard to come across in the digital world. Best looking profile on Upwork for ClickFunnels. I'm, I'm like, this guy is the best. Like. This is the guy I need. He's so thorough with his work. He shows you what he's done, why he did it that way, how to access things. I just so trust him. Yeah, really, really into the detail and cannot recommend him highly enough. Buddy, thank you. Thank you like, for everything you've done. Um, and yeah, love, love working with you. Nothing but up, Nothing but the, up. Podcast. the podcast season two. Season two. Season two. With your host, with your host, with your host, Jameer Angelo. Jameer Angelo. Sage about the flex. Welcome to the podcast. This is Jameer Angelo, your host for Nothing But Up the Podcast. And I'm coming to you live here from a simple home office in the province of South Cotabato. You're tuned in today to season two, episode eight. And uh, today is Tuesday, April 30th. And um, back at it again with another episode that will perhaps answer the questions you're having. Um, but first things first. Well, it's true. I've, I've been off the limelight for, for a while now. And uh, I truly apologize for being MIA. Um, I mean, my team has been handling projects in and out. And yes, uh, it's the season, uh, second quarter of the year. Um, you know, a lot of businesses are plotting, uh, you know, their systems and processes in play in preparation for the third week and uh, I'm sorry, third quarter and uh, the last quarter of the year. And uh, I guess it's just a pretty good problem to be having. And uh, to be honest with you guys, I've been I truly miss doing podcast episodes. And yeah, usually we bring someone in. Um, we have local guests or even international guests to come with us, join us on, on our, you know, episodes. But today, I mean, out of nowhere, I decided to pull up, get my hoodie on and be in front of my mic to shoot this episode. And uh, I promise uh, I intend to release uh, and, you know, crossing my fingers and be able to release at least three episodes per week. Um, thinking probably about Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, just to get me going and to provide more value, more content for business owners, entrepreneurs, and freelancers have been longing to break through. And yes, today is another solo episode uh, coming your way. And this I noticed at least for the past few days, um, businesses of all sizes, whether online or offline, and to be quite honest, it's, it's, it's quite disturbing. That's why I'm taking um, this episode to, to tackle this topic right now. And I'm talking about this thing over. And, uh, you know, this question pops up more often than my dogs begging for treats. But let me give it to you straight. No, sales funnels are not dead. But hold your horses. I mean, because the traditional funnels, as once we knew, has taken a bit of a detour. Okay, You see, gone are the days of a linear um, journey from point A to B. Today's sales funnels, you know, resemble more of a wild 
roller coaster ride with so many twists, turns, and uh, you know different loopholes along 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 the process. And um, I would be happy to share with you my insights about this and specifically about the new sales funnel journey. Now, you see, your potential customer isn't just taking a leisurely stroll through your funnel. They're bungee jumping in and out at will, possibly landing in your competitor's lap before you can say sales conversion. In this digital age where customers hold the reins, we really have to adapt. And by we, I mean us, business owners, coaches, entrepreneurs, real estate agents, movie producers, music producers, you name it. As long as you have a business running, you really have to adapt to the change. And that means meeting them where they are and when they want it, not dragging them through the predetermined path on your sales funnel, right? So from the new sales funnel journey comes the shift in sales tactics. Now, in the past decade, and especially in this uh, past couple of years or after pandemic, the landscape of sales and marketing has undergone a tectonic shift. Cold calls? Nah. It's so last decade. And today, it's all about inbound leads fueled by captivating content and automated nurture sequences. And guess what? By the time this leads waltz into your sales team's inbox, they've likely already decided that your product or service is the bee's knees. Talk about, you know, taking control. And I often experience this a lot, uh, you know, with my site up, FunnelExpertPH.com. Uh, on average, we get about 80 visitors a day organically. Um, but it's separate when I'm running paid traffic into it. Uh, it's going to be massive. It could turn out around 200 visitors plus um, on a daily basis. And people will tend to get or have some inquiries about the processes and they would end up booking a call. By the moment they end up booking a call with me, um, there are two processes that will be going. One is that they will be filling out a consultation form. From that moment on, at least you have about 80 to 90% chance of closing the deal. Now, it really goes down to whether I would be able to help them if the business does make sense to me. And if I know that there's a capability for us to grow together. And uh, the reason I'm telling you this is that cold calling just really wouldn't work at this day and age. You have to provide more value, more content to those leads. And by the moment they come in and by the moment they hit the phones and book an appointment with you, they are already warmed up and they already know who you are, what you do. And it really boils down to on whether they can afford you and on whether your skill set fits um, what they need. And, um, and that's what I said, value, and it is truly true. Content is king. Your website, your funnels, your social media, your blog posts, these are your digital billboards, right? Enticing potential customers to take a closer look. And trust me, they're looking. They're scouring reviews, devouring your content, and forming opinions before you can even say hello, welcome to our website. And that is true. Before you even know it, those guys already know you, right? From the moment they've already consumed, you know, the, the content that you're putting out there. And um, so that's actu actually the reason why you need to also focus on content uh, most specifically. Now, what's the secret sauce? Now, it's really all about serving up the right content at the right time in the right place. Right? 
I'm going to repeat it for you. Serving the right content at the right time and the right place is very critical for your business, regardless of whatever business that you're operating. Um, even if you have enough um, you know, capacity to run paid traffic to whatever sales funnel or uh, digital content you have, um, again, at the end of the day, um, organic and paid traffic should be part of the journey when you're running funnels, right? Now, you can rarely hear this from any gurus or coaches, but you have, you really need to hear this. I'm a firm believer of strategy first, tactics later. Now, Here's where many marketers stumble. They dive headfirst into creating content without even having a game plan. It's like trying to build a house without blueprints. So chaos ensues. Definitely. So you're just going to need to take a step back, craft a solid content strategy tailored to your personas or your avatars, and watch the magic happen, okay? You're gonna need to have a strategy where you're putting them, where you're taking them, and what's next, right? This tactics could totally come later, right? The moment you feed yourself with information that's available over to you, then you'd be able to formulate a plan on what to do next. What's really important is that you provide or you build a content co which comes along with a game plan. Right. And um, so, yeah, I mean, the magic question still prevails. Are sales funnels really dead? Short answer, absolutely not. Okay. It's, it's gotten a makeover, yes. But in this digital world, it's really all about embracing the twists, the turns, and meeting customers where they are guiding them gently towards that glorious purchase. And remember, it's not about selling. It's about building relationships, one engaging piece of content at a time. Like this podcast episode. <laughs> so, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, I know that you're aiming to break through um, your you may be aiming to launch a particular product or a service or an offer. That's cool. And uh, you've done your market research. You've done, uh, you know, your competitor uh, analysis. Um, but again, at the end of the day, you know, it really boils down to running a perfect funnel that suits your needs, right? So... You would be able to do that if you'd be able to follow the following steps I've, I did mention about. And sales funnels are definitely going to be here forever. And you might not notice it, but you are in a funnel wherever you go. And um, I am hoping that you got something out of today's episode. And uh, that's a wrap for today. And remember... No matter what challenges you, you may face, there's always a way to rise above and keep moving forward. With the right mindset and determination, nothing can hold you back. Nothing but up. Thanks for tuning in and be sure to subscribe to our podcast for more inspiring conversations like this. This is Jameer Angelo. Until next time, peace, y'all. Sage by the flex. Thank you.